Hey everybody, um, welcome to my channel, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, guys, pardon my voice, I've been sick for a while and um, I just want to um, do this reading for you, a quick one, for this full moon in Scorpio season, alright? So let's get started, um, today this is going to be a reading for Leo, okay? Leo in love and relationship during this uh, full moon in Scorpio. What do we have for Leo in relationship and love for this full moon in Scorpio? So Leo, if, um, top row will be your energies, um, bottom row will be your person and will have uh, outcome cards or, you know, energies can go vice versa. So take it however that resonates with you. All right, we have the um, Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands, Page of Cups and the Hangman. Your person is the star. Um, four of Cups, <clears throat> a Seven of Wands, and the Devil. Outcome, Ace of Swords, and the Two of Wands. Uh, okay, Leo. You're pretty much in the action mode right now. <laughs> I feel that um, you've been thinking about wanting this um, passionate start with this person. You've been thinking about that. At some point, you've even wanted to just charge in, just approach them, willfully, yeah. But I feel that this is, this is pretty much your focus right now. You're wanting to just reach out, have this passionate beginning with this person. You're also feeling as though um, you're wanting to offer, like, reconnection, or perhaps this could also be an apology. Okay, you're thinking about how you, you're, you're going to go through with that. For now, though, you're stepping back and um, you're trying to get a different perspective. You're trying to get clarity as to how you're going to go about this passionate start, how you're going to go about um, giving this apology. Okay? Or that could also be your person. So, yeah. Bottom row here, we have your person is pretty much... Um, Mm. I feel that they are unhappy. I think they're still thinking about what happened in the past. Um, they're unfulfilled. Um, you know, they're not. They're unable to see new opportunities around them because they're sulking, sulking in the um, what has happened in the past. They're sad. I feel that they're sad about. Probably they could feel that this is a missed opportunity too, or they're wondering, you know, how else can they make things happen between the two of you. And they're also in the process of healing right now. They, I feel that they could have been hurt too with what has happened. If, you know, if there could have been a fallout between you two, I feel that they are in pain and they're needing that healing. They're needing that healing emotionally, mentally, physically to to bring them back into that state of you know, the new normal or normal normal C or whatever you kind of call it. Okay? But they're pretty much optimistic. At some point, even if now they are undergoing these gloomy days, they're optimistic. Someone here is optimistic about this connection. Someone here has faith that things can be renewed, okay? As of the moment, this person, they're trying to stand their ground. They're trying, they're trying to just protect themselves. They could appear detached to you, but know that they're doing that just to protect themselves emotionally, yeah? This person could also have some attachments, toxic attachments, you know? Um, this could be... Um, in relationships, it could be codependence, or this could also go about, you know, um, some addictions. It could be alcohol or drugs. Yeah. All right, but as of the moment, even if they're sad, they're feeling optimistic, I do feel that um, you see them as being detached, um, standing their ground, and may not even be communicating with you. 
yeah but know that they are healing okay um, possible outcome mm, you have the ace of swords and the two of wands um, you'll have clarity with regards to this connection um, clarity and victory for some of you and for some of you this could also mean that someone will decide to just cut things off mm -hmm. okay and for some of you um, there's going to be clarity with with this connection and what they want and what they think this connection should go into whether it could go to a higher level of commitment or just drop it off and there's going to be um, someone who's needing to make a decision or needing to make a choice here on what to do next so I feel that this is more like um, a work in progress um, energy right here let's see in the next um, few weeks you know if things will how things turn out but for the moment I feel that you're thinking on how to reach out how to make an offer of um, I don't know of apology or even passionate start with this person and um, just know that your person is healing and maybe you know a, a bit detached or they'll be standing their ground yeah but they're sad of not being with you Okay, what do we have for, yeah, Leo? Messages for Leo from their person. Okay, the thought of you still does things to me. So, yeah, perhaps they are thinking about you. They miss you. Yeah. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave it at that. If this ever resonates, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, and hit like and subscribe if this is where we part ways. Thank you for stopping by.